Hello. Hi. Uh, my name's Nick Yakubovich. I'm editor in chief of the Journal of Dental Research. And I'm Jocelyn Fine, and I'm the editor in chief of the JDR Clinical and Translational Research. And we're here today to talk about how the two journals are seeking manuscripts specifically on COVID-19. Um, we want to let you know that these manuscripts will be expedited for review and publication um, in recognition of the fact that this is a very unusual and very urgent situation. Yeah, and to get through the pandemic, um, it's really critical that we get rapid research and dissemination. And we do need that evidence that we get to be robust and reliable. And while things uh, need to be done very quickly, it's really important that the usual standards of scientific rigor are upheld. But through journal publications, we can establish a strong scientific record, and this is gonna help us prepare for future outbreaks. So we just wanted to give some idea of the type of things the uh, journals might be looking at. And we have been guided by this, by some work that's been done by the American Association for Dental Research, who recently uh, done a short exercise to think of some of the areas uh, where COVID-19 research would be relevant to the general fields of oral, dental, and craniofacial research. And we wanted to just give a couple of examples of those really for the types of thing that might be relevant to our journals. So for example, the Journal of Dental Research would be very interested in learning about new approaches to testing and diagnosis of COVID-19 disease based on oral samples such as saliva. We're also very interested in the fundamental and the foundation science uh, that underpins this disease. So, for example, identifying receptors on oral tissues, including uh, the well-known AC2 receptor, but also other factors that contribute to virus entry into cells. Um, we'd be interested to learn about the potential of oral tissues to act as reservoirs for the virus and possibly for triggering systemic diseases from oral infection. Uh, factors that might influence viral infection in or around the oral cavity, such as host genetics, uh, age, or even the oral microbiome, for example, might be areas of relevance too. Um, we also are interested in learning about the impact of viral infection on the function of oral tissues, uh, including perception of taste and smell. And of course, the local immune response is extremely important, including both innate and acquired immunity. And new approaches that target uh, the disease, such as drugs or vaccines that maybe block viral entry into oral tissues or modulate the local immune response in the oral cavity would be very relevant. And as, as these are designed, they will of course be very relevant to clinical research, which um, is, in the remit of JDR-CTR. And with that, um, I'll talk a little bit about uh, studies that we'd like to see for both journals, and uh, particularly, since I'm talking about JDR-CTR, um, epidemiologic studies. So uh, what are the long-term effects of COVID-19 and treatment on oral health and associated systemic diseases, uh, including autoimmune diseases such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis or lupus? Um, oral health inequality and social determinants of health related to the COVID infection, understanding how COVID-19 may change dental practice. Um, we could have behavioral studies. We'd love to see studies that perhaps look at stress on dental care professionals and develop strategies to cope or to treat. Um, how does the pandemic change patients' uh, access to care or willingness or avoidance of care? And are these concerns or practices different for underrepresented or marginalized populations? Uh, health services studies are also very important. We need to determine whether the oral health care delivery is being managed optimally during and after the pandemic. And we want to understand social and cultural constraints of oral testing, oral screening, billing and insurance re reimbursements, quite a lot in health services. Um, informatics studies are other types of studies that we were interested in seeing. Um, these could be linkage of emerging and existing data sets to determine risk factors 
including oral risk factors for infection. Um, studies related to clinical care, such as the impact of COVID-19 on oral health, the impact of antiviral medication, usage on oral health, effective use of teledentistry in the context of the pandemic, a salivary detection and characterization, including spread kinetics of the SARS COVID-2 in a dental setting, and of course, infection control. Uh, these are just some, some brief examples of the type of research, the, the types of research we're looking for, but of course, there are many others as well. So we wanted to give you this, these ideas just to get the, the brains started um, because uh, we really would like to see these submissions. Exactly, and, and to assess, because it's such an urgent and important area, um, there are a number of things we are doing to try and assist with the publication of this type of paper. So both JDR and JDR CTR papers will appear free, free of access control, um, so they'll be free to download and they'll be included within a broader uh, micro site put together by Sage Publishing specifically on COVID-19. Um, page charges related to uh, COVID-19 research reports will be waived. Um, the only exception there is that color figure charges will, will be applied as usual, but uh, all our standard page charges will be um, waived. Uh, there's more information by following this web link here. So we are hoping that you will think about and proceed to submit papers to both of our journals. Um, you can see on the screen the link that you would need to, to take to, uh, to start that process. And we are looking forward to seeing many submissions on COVID-19. Thank you. We'll look forward to seeing your papers. Take care. Be careful. Stay safe. <laughs> Bye.